Hi guys and welcome to Watches That Rock. Before we get started, please remember to support the channel by hitting those subscribe and like buttons for more content. So today, we'll be taking a look at another timepiece from the Rolex Professional Diving Watch range, the aptly named Sea Dweller. The Rolex Sea Dweller was launched in 1967 as a progression of the Submariner that we reviewed last time. The evolution was evident as the original Sea Dweller was named the Sea Dweller Submariner 2000, which was written in red across the dial. The 2000 represented the 2000 feet of water resistance, which translates to 610 meters, which was hugely impressive, even by today's standards. Over time, these original timepieces have come to be known as double red sea dwellers amongst watch enthusiasts and collectors alike, and come with a high price tag to match. The sea dweller itself has gone through a number of evolutions breaking away from the Submariner and was established as a diving wash line in its own right. In 1977, the sea dweller broke away from the Submariner line as the sea dweller submariner lettering was removed from the watch and simply replaced with sea dweller in white lettering, otherwise known as the Great White. In 1978, the sea dweller went through another update the waterproofness was enhanced to a depth of 1,200 meters and was the first Rolex timepiece to feature sapphire crystal and a larger escape valve, something that we'll cover later in this episode. This model is often referred to as the Triple Six. This iteration stayed in production until 1989. From 1989 to 2009, the model was updated and the Sea Dweller referenced 16,000, 600 featured an enhanced 3135 caliber movement. However, after 20 years, the Sea Dweller was taken out of production and after a short break was reintroduced to the Rolex line in 2014. The 2014 edition referenced 116,600 featured further updates which included the introduction of the Seracron bezel in favor of the aluminum bezels featured on earlier editions. The case was also returned back to 40 millimeters, with a redesigned case with chromolite display and a glide lock clasp. The reference 116,600 was in production until 2017. In 2017, the Sea Dweller 126,600 replaced the 116,600 and featured a number of eye catching updates which included the introduction of the Cyclops lens over the date and the return to the red Sea Dweller lettering across the dial. The updated timepiece also featured a larger case at 43mm and the improved caliber 3235 movement, which provided a greater power reserve and improved precision. The reference 126,600 is part of the 2023 offering from Rolex, and we'll now take a look at the model more closely. But before we get to the details, most of you will know the Sea Dweller Deep Sea is also part of the Sea Dweller range. However, we'll take a look at this particular timepiece in a future episode. The Sea Dweller case has undergone a number of changes and enhancements since its introduction in 1967. The original case measured 40 millimeters, and the current version in oyster steel reference 126,600 measures 43 millimeters in diameter, as well as the oyster steel and 18 karat gold version reference 126,603. The Sea Dweller is water resistant to an impressive depth of 1,220 meters, or 4,000 feet, and features the helium escape valve. The helium escape valve was developed by Rolex and guarantees that any helium gas that is able to penetrate the watch case during saturation diving is able to escape with ease, leaving the crystal intact. Without this innovative feature, the timepiece could succumb to damage, including separation of the crystal from the case. The case features the classic oyster architecture with a monoblock middle case, screw down case back and winding crown with the triplock triple waterproofness system. The crystal is anti-reflective scratch resistant sapphire and features the Rolex Cyclops magnifier lens over the date. The Sea Dweller dial comes in intense black on both the oyster steel and 18 karat yellow gold and oyster steel version, otherwise known as yellow Rolls-Royce. Like the Submariner, 
The dial features hour markers that are defined by triangles, circles, and rectangles, and feature broad hands for enhanced legibility. They are finished with the exclusively Rolex developed highly legible chromolite material, which provides a bright white hue in daylight and a long lasting blue luminescence, providing excellent legibility, especially in the dark and underwater conditions. The bezel is unidirectional rotatable and divided into 60 minute graduations to help divers keep track of how long they've spent underwater. It features pronounced knurling allowing for a better grip, especially if wearing diving gloves. The bezel itself is engineered from either oyster steel or 18 karat yellow gold, dependent on which model you opt for. However, the bezel insert across both models is manufactured from Rolex Ceracrum, a hard, corrosion-resistant ceramic, which is virtually scratch-proof and unaffected by seawater, chlorinated water, or ultraviolet rays, making it extremely durable. The bezel insert is finished with platinum numerals and graduations on the oyster steel version and 18 karat gold on the yellow Rolex version, whilst the zero marker incorporates a luminescent capsule to ensure legibility in dark environments on both versions. Moving on to the bracelet, the Sea Dweller comes equipped with the classic and comfortable three-piece solid link oyster bracelet. The oyster bracelet is robust and functional and is fitted with the oyster lock folding clasp, which is a great safety feature that prevents accidental opening. In addition, the bracelets are equipped with the Rolex patented glide lock extension system, which allows for easy adjustments of the bracelet without the use of tools, making it easy to wear over diving suits. The Sea Dweller is powered by the Rolex manufactured Caliber 3235 with superlative chronometer certification. The Caliber 3235 incorporates the watchmaker's latest innovations, including the Rolex Chronergy Escapement, making the movements resistant to strong magnetic fields. The movement also incorporates the paramagnetic blue paracrum hairspring, offering superior resistance and stability to shocks and temperature variations, and is also equipped with Paraflex shock absorbers. The movement is automatic with bi-directional winding, incorporating 31 joules and operates at 28,000 vibrations per hour or 4 hertz and offers a generous 70-hour power reserve. The movement is extremely precise with accuracy of between minus 2 or plus 2 seconds per day after casing. The Sea Dweller is an evolution of aesthetics, form, and function through many years of Rolex innovation and collaboration with professional divers, culminating in one of the most impressive dive watches available today. It is reliable, stylish, robust, and delivers excellent performance, overall a great addition to any watch collection. For more information, visit the Rolex website at rolex.com where you can find further information about the Sea Dweller and more on the wider Rolex line. Next time, we'll be looking at the Rolex Day Date, so make sure you subscribe and tune in. Thanks again for watching and catch you next time on Watches That Rock.